My project is about biochar. Uh, biochar is a, is a charcoal-like substance um, that you can uh, you know from, from charcoal uh, in your barbecue. But for me, it started actually over 10 years ago when I was still working in the Amazon in South America. And uh, I was working on degraded soils and couldn't miss recognizing certain very fertile soils that occur in the Amazon. And these are very dark soils, and I have here a, a, a one in this bottle with me, uh, a very dark soil that is very fertile. While typically the soils in the Amazon are very infertile, these soils are very fertile, and they have been fertile for a very long period of time. We now know that these soils have been modified by Amerindian populations between 500 and up to 8,000 years ago. So these soils are very, very old. And yet, they have maintained and stayed very fertile over all that period. And that is very intriguing for a soil scientist, of course, because now we ask the question, how can that even be that a soil in the Amazon that is supposedly so poor can have an enduring soil fertility over millennia? And it turns out that the answer is biochar, that this material has been laid down by uh, populations very long time ago and has made the soil so fertile. It has uh, uh, high nutrient availability. Um, it stores a lot more carbon than other soils would and does that for a long period of time. The, the biochar has very peculiar uh, properties and it seems that the, the, these terra preta soils, as they are called, black soils of the Amazon, that they are holding on to nutrients. Uh, they have a very large surface. Um, they have a very active surface. They work like a sponge that can absorb water and nutrients uh, and makes it available to plants. We don't know how the, the uh, biochar was produced in the Amazon uh, a few thousand years ago. We can only speculate. Uh, and it's a very interesting discussion to follow uh, that my archaeology colleagues have. Um, how can it be that uh, these civilizations have done something that we are not able or have not able, been able to do um, to have a sustainable and long-term cultivation on these very poor soils? Um, it is possible that uh, the Amerindian populations uh, have uh, charred the biomass when they cleared the forest. And it's actually, from a budgetary point of view, uh, very plausible that um, during a clearing event of the uh, forest, that this material would be directly be charred. Um, and we find the equivalent amounts of char today in the soils that could have been produced by charring the above ground biomass. So we, we uh, have learned this lesson and have found out that uh, the biochar in these terra preta soils is not only very long lived, but also very efficient, much more efficient than other organic matter and carbon in soil in providing the beneficial properties that we look for in a fertile soil. And we take this, these uh, lessons forward um, and build uh, a, a group of scientists that are now looking from various angles, from a social angle, from an economic angle, uh, from an engineering angle, um, from a soil science and agronomical angle, how we can optimize these lessons that we have learned and bring them into a contemporary uh, land use management. So we're using, we're using woody, woody biomass in this experiment. and. Um, see that we can produce both liquid fuels and biochar from it. Yeah, the pedal goes in the middle that will rotate the, the uh, uh, biomass when it's being charred. So we get a very homogeneous material. And as soon as this material heats up, it will turn black. It will uh, emit gases and liquids that are going through a pipe out here and then through a condenser where we will trap 
uh, the liquid fuels. So now we can close it and uh, fire it up. And now it starts heating up to 350 degrees. When we make char, about half of the carbon that we started with in our biomass ends up at, as the biochar, and about half ends up in the gases and the liquids. And that brings us to a whole slew of new opportunities. Because while we are making biochar through charring, we not only produce the black charcoal material, but we are also are able to use the gases and liquids that are produced at the same time. And these gases and liquids are good for a number of things. We can use them to produce energy, uh, such as green hydrogen, uh, electricity, or liquid transportation fuels. But also a number of byproducts um, for the food industry and other industries. So we can produce energy at the same time as we are generating the char. We can use a whole slew of different biomass uh, for this process. And that has been interesting for uh, some land managers and municipalities because uh, many municipalities have a, a problem with disposing of agricultural wastes um, or uh, um, animal manures, um, garden wastes. Uh, and, and all these wastes um, can be utilized to produce biochar. large lesson that we have learned from the terra preta soils is that this carbon is very long lived. And of course that's, that's a very intriguing lesson because we might be able to use the carbon stored in the terra preta soil with biochar as a way to withdraw carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So what we're actually discussing now is to use a biochar soil management to sequester carbon in soils and mitigate climate change. Uh, very important for uh, a biochar management is that we, um, that we can look at, at uh, a, a, the biomass now in an agricultural landscape from a, from a systems perspective. That we can really use every little bit of it and return a significant portion back to the soils where we took the biomass from uh, originally. And that means we're not depleting and removing all the carbon and all the biomass from our landscapes and denuding and degrading the landscapes, but we're returning half of the carbon back to the agricultural fields. And by transforming the uh, residues, the agricultural residues, uh, into biochar, we are returning a material that is not only much more longer lived, but also performs all the good things that residues do in the soil and organic matter does in the soil much more efficiently.